Before we start the journey, we gotta hang out with my gomies, my goat friends. If you don't leave a junkyard like this and don't see a car that you wish to flip, then I don't know why you do it. I don't know why you're here. You need a project for your project. Alright guys, so on this episode, if you read the title, you already know what we're doing today. We found ourselves at the scrapyard, or junkyard, some people call it. We're going to be looking for some parts for the Ford. And uh, not only do they have cars, trucks, semis, buses, they even have goats. <laughs> what a better place to be. Follow along, hit that subscribe button. Let's go look for some parts. A lot of gems in this thing, honestly, but a lot of them are parted out or no motor or missing missing things. But it's on our way on bus road. <laughs> this is where all the school buses go to die. And I'm not, what you're seeing is literally just one row. There's like 10, 15 deep mixed. It's awesome. This is every man's dream, I think. And it's in the ground completely. <laughs> I'm looking for a dash pad. This one has it, but we're a little off. Let's keep looking. Look, man. A couple Suburbans. 20, custom deluxes. And then you fall around over here, and you got a tree through the hood. Comment below how long you think that tree has been growing with that engine bay. 15 years? 30 years? That's a big tree. Running through the junkyard. I always love the older models, 30s, 40s, 50s. They always put more characteristic in their vehicles, unlike today, I feel like. You look through here, it even has some international. And I think we've made our way in the Dodge territory. <laughs> so maybe one time he did have it. <laughs> Dodge is Ford. This guy has it all. Chevy Road back there. The old 50s and 40s. much Fords. There's a lot of Chevys. Even if you don't need car parts and you need parts for your wagon, there you go. You got some rims, maybe some bearings. You never know what you'll find. Well, we've hiked about half a mile, maybe a mile so far. We may hit some trucks that are our size. <laughs> Let's go that way. Got a good bench seat, maybe. A little newer than mine. That wasn't in, but I think we're in the right area. So, maybe this one. A little different, got a pool handle, it's probably a little newer. Who knew? Full Ford on Ford action. <laughs> See, this is what we're looking for. Exactly. You got your vents for your defroster. Later on, they added out where it's a whole slip across and they split the dash pad in half. This is about what mine looks like. Maybe a little bit better, not by much. But it's been out in the weather too long. No windshield really screwed the car. 
That's a cool one. This is an F100. Probably had the straight six in it. Uh, later on, it came out with the V8, 360 or 390s. This was a pretty reliable motor if it had the straight six. Looks like whoever had it definitely uh, took care of it. Just, I don't know. Why do it straight? But rust it out. Rust it just. It's been snowing, it's been raining, it is muddy. I like to put a set of these. Put a set of these on the floor. What do you think? Can we put some more bumper stops on there? I think those are pretty neat. We'll find some of those too. If he has them. Sure he does, we just gotta find it. I think the Ford's on this one. That looks like C60, C10, C20. GMC's in there. We got a in this area. As we continue walking around, we'll see all the cars and trucks. Do you see one that you like? That could be your project? Do you have a project? What do you have working on? Are you working with it with your kid? Let me know. Put it in the comments. This is probably one of my favorite schemes that Ford came out with, with color wise. They always did this white, but they did the roots the same color. They did the white this green. I don't know if you can see much of it. Here's one I need. The dash pad's here. It has a crack in it. It's been sitting out in the weather too long. It does have a door panel though. A little different than mine. May use it, may not. I think these are all... My model is a 68 to about a 71. 72 to 73s, they changed their blinker lights to up top. Anything before that, it's still the same way. So there's that little median we're looking for for the 68s. This one here has the push, like mine. That's what we're looking for. No, no door pad. Also, the dash pad is completely gone. Still an F-250, it's a custom. Brought it out. Probably why it's here. <laughs> so what I'm meaning by dash pad, if you look here, it has a defroster the speaker before I don't know if it was earlier or later on I believe it was later on because the tail lights or fog lights were up more the dash pad is half of the dash in 68 the dash pad was a full thing but we may just take ours off and leave it the way it is and I think it looks all right I'm not sure if we'll find much today honestly a lot of the stuff here has been sitting in the weather for a long time for the things that we need but there's some great parts here Plenty of hoods, plenty of metal that can still be repurposed. So if you're in a scav or scavenger hunt for some parts, junkyard's where to start. And this is fun. I find this fun. Waste of day. Look at that. Shackle through the bed. Typical Ford rust. pretty big tree. Nature just takes it right back. So whether you can save it or not, I believe that one's too far gone. But it's cool. I don't know why. Well, we didn't find anything today, sadly. It sucks, but can't win them all. Hope you enjoyed this episode, though. We got some things coming up on the Ford. We're on the hunt. We're looking for parts. If you know where some door panels are, if you know where some dash pads are, let me know. Let's do the walk of shame out of here. Entire mile, just walking back. <laughs>